Well, presenters, welcome back. Remaking my NBA Go Pyramid Jix me. Jimmy High Roller. Um, let's get into it, man. N nothing more than a goat. About three years ago, I released my Goat Pyramid, featuring 30. MJ, Kareem, Kobe, Magic, LeBron, Wilt, not Wilt, uh, Bill, Shaq, Duncan, Hakeem, Larry Bird, Wilt, Stockton Malone, who's that? Oscar Robinson, KD, Isaiah, Dr. J, D. Wade, okay. Of what I believe to be the greatest NBA players of all time. And it's okay, but it could, uh, it could use some work. So today, we're going to be updating the NBA GOAT Pyramid. Go Pyramid, Go Rushmore, Go Go. Today's goat. video is brought to you by Seat App and use the deal for tickets today in the comments thinking it was mine, but it's not. The dead giveaway was LeBron being on tier three. Also, current day Steph on tier four was a massive red flag, and a pretty solid player by the name of Hakeem Olajuwon was nowhere to be found on this pyramid at all. So, as cool as it would be to have Shaq share some content from the channel, this NBA GO pyramid is from someone else. But it did get me thinking. With all of the events that have taken place over the last four NBA seasons, I think it's time we update our GO pyramid. So here's the pyramid I made three years ago, May 23rd, the Go Pyramid 2019. 2019 to be exact. Which means since this video was released, four new teams have been crowned champions, four MVPs have been awarded, and there has Giannis. been three and a half seasons worth of NBA context to consider for our new pyramid. Now I want to keep this new pyramid at 30 players like our original one. So if I add any players, I unfortunately have to take players off as well. And Ooh, 30 players across tiers peak. How good a given player was when they were at their absolute best can often hold more weight than longevity but this isn't always the case accomplishments skill set era that's just tough. like with my original go pyramid there are a few factors i'm going to be considering throughout this process a player's peak which i value more than longevity their accomplishments and hardware their skill and ability and even the era that they how skilled player at their game position overall factoring the skill set allows for all-time talented players who might have underachieved in their career to self consideration for the pyramid like chuck bubba chuck and T-Mac. Played in. And of course, just like with my original GOAT pyramid, these selections are all based on my personal opinion. So with that out of the way, let's make some changes to this pyramid. So first things first, I have to make one massive adjustment to the top of this pyramid. Some may agree with it, some may not. But the top, top. The fourth championship and fourth finals MVP while climbing every all-time leaderboard over the last four seasons, LeBron James has earned a spot in tier one because at this what? point you the can't put a tier one in virtually become michael jordan lebron james and then everyone else i still have mj as the goat but the gap between mj and you can't you can't move a dude to tier one with two guys oh my god lebron feels smaller than the gap between lebron then you need to make a tier one with mj and a tier two with lebron and put the the rest of the guys down in tier and whoever comes next so I feel this change was necessary and well earned. But that leaves us with three players on tier two. Oh, you have to make it tough. I think you should go uh, tier one with one player, tier two with two players, tier three with three players, tier four with four players, and tier five with five players and get all these bums out of here. Two. And that just looks weird. Make your life so harder. Considering peaks and accolades and impact on the game and every other factor I can conjure up, I've decided to move Bill Russell and Larry Bird up to tier two. In our original pyramid, I had magic on tier How do you move people up from your original and they haven't played a single game since? Tier two and Bird on tier three. But with LeBron moving up, this gives room for Bird and Magic to be on the same tier as they should be. And Bill why you move one guy up and you get two guys to move up? Russell, 11 rings, greatest defensive player of all time. There's not much to be said here. <clears throat> now there's two players in particular who have solidified their legacies over the last four seasons and have earned spots on tier three with Shaq, Hakeem, Duncan, and Wilt. Those players are of course, Steph Curry and Kevin Durant. 
Since 2019, Steph has proven Curry. without a shadow of a doubt that he's the greatest shooter of all time. And after winning his fourth championship and first finals MVP last season, he's made the jump into tier three. Steph's brilliance and consistency season after season. Ha I have no problem with moving active guys up because they've been playing the past, what, three years, he said? Has extended his prime Four pass years. where I think most fans would have ever considered. Now in his 13th season, at 34 years old, he's not only one of the best players in the league, he's putting together arguably the best season of his historic career and the same could be said for kevin durant he's got all the hardware a league mvp two championships and two finals mvps but what has bumped durant from tier four into tier three is his relentless consistency as a generational talent since 2019 he's made two more all nba teams while averaging 29 7 and 6 and this has earned him the jump from tier four to tier three the and easiest to tier four 29 some points pretty major changes to it and our first change comes with john stockton who gets demoted into tier five how do you move what the which hell? puts him at about the fifth or sixth greatest point guard of all time behind magic steph oscar and isaiah scotty pippen also got demoted to tier five I made this decision because despite Scotty's critical role throughout the Bulls dynasty, his talents as an individual player just don't warrant him a spot amongst players like Oscar Robertson, Carl Malone, and Julius Irving. And unfortunately, Dwayne Wade and Isaiah Thomas get demoted into Tier 5 as well. All-time great players, but being in Tier 4 means a player is, at worst, a top 21 player of all time. And I just don't consider Wade or Isaiah to be of that caliber but I would consider them both to be top 30 players of all time with similar relatively short but brilliant people. Who is this guy in the Peaks middle in the black and white? I don't know, a careers. lot of these older guys. And with these changes, tier four becomes a barren wasteland with only three players. So we've got some promoting to do. Starting with Jerry West, 12 all NBA teams, finals MVP and five all- So he's just switching around some guys and moving them up and down. They haven't even played. They just changed in his mind, his opinion. All defensive team selections with career it's averages opinion, it's all good. 27, 6, and 5 a game. The only other players in NBA history to achieve these career averages. Well, let's are move up KG because he has a pretty funny podcast where he shares a lot of stories. On James and Kevin Durant. So the logo gets the bump into tier 4. My next promotion goes to Moses Malone. Three times. Let's promote him because he has, uh, I think his nickname is. Uh, no, that's not him. Who's Chocolate Thunder? League MVP, a finals MVP, and one of the <clears throat> greatest rebounders the game has ever seen. Honestly, he should have never been in Tier 5 to begin with. So let's put him where he truly Never really works. watched him play. And my last so. pair of promotions goes to Dirk Nowitzki and Kevin Garnett. The individual dominance of both KG and Dirk that spanned over two decades is matched by only a handful of all-time greats. The weight is better than KG. excellence over the course of 21 seasons, it was their massive peaks that earned them a spot in Tier 4. Two of the most skilled, versatile, and imposing Was Charles in the Barkley game better than KG? Which leaves us with Tier 5 and some tough decisions to make. There are only two players that made my original GOAT pyramid that did not make the cut in my new pyramid. And those players are Bob Pettit and Allen Iverson. But with all these adjustments, wait, 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 there wait. are now two players that made my original GOAT pyramid that did not make the cut in my new pyramid. And those players he hasn't are added Bob anybody. Pettit and Allen Iverson. But with all these adjustments, there are now two spots open. Is that John Havlicek, the guy in the Celtics? For two new players. Of all the Who's players who missed the cut the first time around, the players who I considered for my new pyramid were Giannis Antetokounmpo, Nikola Jokic, James Harden, Chris Paul, and Kawhi Leonard. Of oh my God, Kawhi cannot be in here, even though uh, he's been injured too much. Chris Paul, he's got to be in here. I think Chris Paul's better than all Isaiah the Thomas. players in the NBA, aside from LeBron, Stephanie. James Harden, oh, he was no. Um, Joker, give, give me a little more, but I mean... He's already better than KG Durant, and Dirk. These are the only players who even have a shot at making the pyramid. I didn't simply throw Jokic probably in tier three if he does this for like one more season. Four all NBA teams, three of them being first team selections. He's won back to back MVPs, he's led the Nuggets to the conference finals, and he's put up two of the most historically efficient and productive seasons in league history. It's only a matter of time before Jokic joins the GOAT pyramid. But at the moment, it's just a bit too soon. Now, for the case of James Harden, I had to sit and really think about That's his potential hell, additions no. to the pyramid. Harden had one of the highest offensive peaks in league history, averaging 31, 8, and 6 a game over the course of T Max six better than James Harden. He's won an MVP, he's made seven all NBA teams, and he's just one of seven players in NBA history to win a scoring title and an assist title. 
But where James Harden falls short compared to other players on the pyramid is his performance in the playoffs. He just Best hasn't gone ever. through on the biggest stage. And the heliocentric offense that allowed him to put up such unbelievable stat lines became a weak point to his teams in the postseason. So for now, he James exposed Harden the referees, does not crack the, the most pyramid. The referee exposer was Chris Paul, one of the most complete point guards in recent years. And despite his lack of playoff success, he has managed to completely transform every team he's been a part of. CP3 is a tricky one because as I touched on before, if you compare Chris Paul to John Stockton, who is in tier five on my pyramid, their careers are almost identical. And after CP 18 to 13 points is a big jump, man. P3's first trip to the finals last Nine season. Nine all defense. numbers and accomplishments only become more and more similar with time. Chris Paul had a higher peak, but Stockton's record-breaking ability to generate offense for nearly two decades while being a lockdown perimeter defender gives him a razor-thin edge over CP3, in my opinion. So for now, Chris Paul doesn't quite crack tier five, which leaves us with the two new additions to my GOAT pyramid. Giannis Antetokounmpo Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi hell no! Since my original pyramid, which was released I like Kawhi just too. before the end of the 2019 season, Giannis has went from a great, young, ascending player to a certified all-time great. In just three and a half years, Giannis won a championship, two MVPs, a finals MVP, defensive player of the year, four all-NBA first teams, four all-defensive first teams, and an all-star game MVP. Wow. All-star game MVP means absolutely nothing. Averaging 30 points, 12 rebounds, rebounds and six assists per game that's a pretty solid three and a half year stretch participation from trophy. so i had to add Giannis to the pyramid and i'm going to put him comfortably in tier four and with our second and this Giannis and Kawhi. deals up to 50 percent off oh final edition Kawhi leonard is added to tier five my original pyramid was created three weeks before Kawhi won his second championship and second finals MVP, which led to his greatness stock skyrocketing. Now, Kawhi is a tough player to rank among any all-time scenario because when he's playing, he's one of the greatest players to ever lace up. But I'm going to put Anthony seasons, Davis on here too. He just hasn't laced up a whole lot. <laughs> but it's impossible to look past his two finals MVPs and his run as the best two-way player in the NBA. So Kawhi... What about Kyrie Irving? What about Kai... Kyrie Irving. It's added to the pyramid, but just barely sneaking into tier five. Kyrie Irving, the most skilled player of all times. My updated NBA Go pyramid. And I want to point out a few interesting things that I noticed throughout the process of making this. If we break down the pyramid by position, there Kyrie's got some, uh, how many chips does he got? There are six point guards, three shooting guards, eight small forwards, six power forwards, and seven centers featured on the pyramid. I initially thought centers would have the largest presence here with big men running the league for nearly six decades, but turns out a well-rounded, versatile wing has been the ideal archetype for a potential NBA great. If we break the GOAT pyramid down by the decade that each player was drafted in, then we will find that among all players who made it onto the pyramid, four of them were drafted in the 50s, three were drafted in the 60s, two were drafted in the 70s, a whopping 10 players were drafted in the 80s, five in the 90s, four in the 2000s, and two in the 2010s. And since most players peak in the decade after they were drafted, it could be said that the 90s were the best era for NBA basketball, or at least the era that featured the most all-time great talent. Giannis is the youngest player featured on this pyramid at just 28 years old, completely bypassing tier five altogether and landing on tier four after just nine seasons in the NBA. This puts Giannis somewhere between the 15th and 20th best player all time. Giannis's ascent amongst the greatest players of all time was pretty quick, but we've seen a rapid climb to basketball royalty like this before. Back in 1996, the NBA announced the 50 greatest NBA players to commemorate. Nah, all right, that's enough. Um, I thought about it for a quick second. MJ, number one, because uh, he's just a goat and he's known for his competitiveness, super athletic, um, took a little break, so came right back and won. Number two. My number two is Kobe. Love Kobe. Um, did everything he could. Very, very questionable in the beginning. Uh, assist. Did it with Shaq. Did it with Pau Gasol. You gotta, you gotta give him some love, or at least I do, especially out in LA. And the dude I hate on a lot, but I have tons of respect. I don't really like him. I don't really like his game. I used to like him. Number three, LeBron James. Um, gotta respect what he's doing. Um, he's way past his prime now, but he's still very, very effective. 
But uh, those Miami Heat days, those those days where he was carrying the Cavs, he was a beast, still is a beast. Just the league is uh, moving away and he's getting older and the league is getting younger. Those are my top three. I got to think about more if I'm going to do a, a few more. But MJ, number one, I didn't even like MJ. I liked Magic over MJ. Um, MJ, Kobe. And LeBron James, let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know if you guys are courageous enough to drop your top three and get hate for it or uh, debate. Until next video, take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. Peace.